All right, so now the chat GPT is pretty much not giving you anything you ask for anymore. It just, you know, truncates everything. And when you ask it to continue writing or whatever, it just won't do it. Uh, Microsoft continues to make this thing worse. So one thing you can do is you can put your information into a spreadsheet and extensions, if you go to add-ons and get add-ons, you can search here for this one that I'm going to use called GPT for Sheets and Docs. There's a bunch of them. Um, they're all kind of the same. This is just the one I sort of happen to use. So what you'll do is you'll set your API key and you get that obviously from your uh, OpenAI, wherever it is, beta.openai something and you go in and you find your API keys and, and you put them in. And now once you've done that, now you're gonna start setting up chat functions inside of spreadsheets. And this is kind of how it works. So what I wanted to do with this is I was trying to get this stupid thing to write me a list of the top 100 songs and I wanted the song name, I wanted the description, and then I wanted to put a link to the website and make this long list post. So now what I can do instead is I can do that same thing here, but I can do it in sheets format. So the first thing I want to do is I want to get kind of this situation here. So what I'm going to do for that is I'm just going to concatenate my fields together to kind of prepare the prompt, so to speak. And if you don't know these formulas, um, well, first of all, they just added a whole bunch of formulas somewhere in here. Uh, functions here, so you can look here. But what's even easier is if you kind of know what you want to do, like I want to combine all these things into one thing, you can ask chat about how to do that with Google Sheets formulas, and it's pretty smart. So in this case, I'm going to say concat to Nate and I want to get this number and then I want to put a space in and then I'm going to do the artist name and then I'm going to do a space and then I'm going to do actually I'm going to do a hyphen I think is what I wanted but it's gonna be space hyphen whatever and then here I'm gonna do the name of the song and put that like that and you can see that it's going to autofill all the way down so the other thing I kind of told chat was I wanted to do it in markdown I like I like doing everything in markdown because it's very easy to, to move around and convert and deal with so um, what I'm going to do then is I'm going to just put the markdown in here because I know I want this to be an H2. So I'm going to start this by that's how you do an H2 in markdown. Okay, cool. So that's that says 1. And maybe I wanted to say like um, I don't know. What did I have here? 01 dot. That's not something I really need to do, but I could have it so it puts a dot after the one. So the one is this A2 cell. So I simply just have to go put the dot in there. And then now I have, cool. And that's artist dash song name. And now I can copy this all the way down and I have the top 100. Um, so a couple of things. I know that I'm going to want to tell chat, like, do the artist name song name here. And it's going to put, like, parentheses and weird stuff in here, probably. Maybe it won't, but I guess if we encounter that, we can deal with it at that time. So this is going to be uh, the H2s, I guess. And then after that, I'm going to want 100 or 50 to 100 words description about the song. And then I'm going to want the link to the, to the site. 
go to site link. I don't, I don't even think I have all these pages up, but it doesn't really matter. And then I'm going to want to put in my, like my video or maybe an image or something. So let's go here, playlists. Here was uh, top 100 songs 1970. That's kind of what I'm doing. Clearly, I didn't finish this project, but it doesn't really matter. Let's go look at it. Where is it here? Okay, cool. Yeah, so Simon and Garfunkel, Bridge Over Trouble. So what I can do now is I can grab these links or yeah, it kind of depends on where you're pasting it. Sometimes you just need a, what is that picture? Sometimes you just need a, um, a link. Sometimes you might want the embed code. So if you wanted the embed code, you could go to the thing and you could grab I don't know what that album cover is, but all right. So you could grab the embed code. Um, the embed code is always going to be the same anyways. All you really need is this thing right here, which is that. So when you have that, let's say we could store a field for the YouTube video ID and decide what we wanted to do with those. All right, cool. And then the site link is going to be, uh, well, maybe we'll need to make these. And then we'll have the description. And then we'll have the YouTube video something. And here is where we will have the section prompt kind of a deal, which will make sense in a minute. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how to use this extension now and show you how it all comes together. So if I open this up, What we will see here when it loads. Okay. That's, yeah, okay, right. My uh, Google Drive just got annihilated, so everything is just a big pile of horse shit right now. But it's still good. Let's see, where, where did that tab go? Oh my god. All right, it's called Sheet 12. Okay, so now that I'm the creator of the Sheet extensions, let's open this up. Okay, cool, so you can see here which models are available and which ones have latency or like are getting kind of slow because they're just getting slammed. Here's a bunch of GPT functions you can look through classifying, splitting, making tables, extracting stuff. Um, but, and, and then here's, you can dial in the settings, which you can't really do this kind of stuff on the, on the, uh, the GUI. All right, so I'm just gonna use chat four because it's the least dumb. And what I'm gonna do here is first, I'm gonna have it generate a site link just to show you. So it's gonna go equals GPT, and then in quotes, you put the prompt in make this a the uh, sanitized URL slug put a comma put that thing in and do that and then just give this a minute while it loads and I forgot that it has the one on it okay fine We can, we can remove those later or, or do something about that. Or if I didn't like that, I could say, okay, fine, let's do it this way. Equals GPT, make this a sanitized URL slug. And I'm gonna say like that. All right, and since I selected this first, I did it backwards. So I'm just gonna go C2, B2. Cool. And now I can simply 
paste all the way down and give it a minute because it's got to run 100 things. There's, I, I'm pretty sure there's a better way to do this with this extension where you can use like the table and pass in a table and get back a bunch of results with only one call, but I haven't really messed with it because whatever. So we're going to change this to slug. And then here is where we're going to make the site link. And the site link is going to equal, we're going to do a concatenation. And boom. Now we have all of our URLs for the site based on the pattern that I was going to that I'm using, although I'm not entirely sure. Why is oh. B2, C2. Wait, what? Did I do this backwards again? How do we do it? I'm losing my mind. Artist song. So C2, B2. Hmm. So maybe it's not, maybe it's not liking that. Fine. Uh, then what we'll do is simply make a new column. And notice how I made a new column. It switched over these things and it has to calculate again. Don't do that because you're just going to waste your time. Um, instead, what I'll do is I'll just put the artist over here and then let that load. C, sorry, B, B2, C2. This is turning into a video about Google Sheets rather than ChatGPT, but you'll see here in a second what happens. And sometimes it does kind of get stuck like when you do stupid things like I did by just requesting a couple hundred in a row for no reason. Uh, so if it does that, you can always just copy your thing, delete it, maybe refresh the page, or go in here and uh, just click Enable again. You might have to just give it like a, a minute or two. Um, stick with it though, I'm going to show you where the magic happens. I might have maxed out my, my calls and need to wait like a minute or two. Um, so while we do that, what we can do is start preparing the prompt here. And that's going to be equals some, oh yeah, cool, it worked. And we're going to do uh, GPT, and then we're going to say write 50 to 100 words about this song that was in the top 100 songs of 1970s by Billboard, I'm, or whatever you want your prompt to be. Okay, so I'll leave that there for a second. This is Simon Garfunkel Bridge Over. Cool. So now it's going to go all the way down. These are going to calculate to the actual site links we want. And once it does, what you want to do is you want to copy this column when it's done loading everything. You want to copy it and paste special values. That way it doesn't keep recalculating every time you like do something. So now we have our site link. Um, I'm not sure if what which ones of these are even on the site, but ideally, you know, you would go make these on your site or something. Okay. I don't think I have any of these. I haven't got there yet. No. Cool. So now we have the description, right? So what we're going to do here is we're going to put this GPT function, right? 100, 50 to 100 words about this song. 
Um, from the top 100 songs in 1970s by Billboard. And then that's the prompt. And then you do comma. And you're going to do that. See what it says. Awesome. So now we can just drag these down. Let chat do it, do its thing. In this case, since it's it's probably not gonna like hallucinate too much. So I I might even go back down to chat uh, three five because it's way faster. Um, for things that. You want it to be a little bit more accurate at the moment. Obviously, you want to use four. But I'm pretty sure this information has been around for a while, so it can handle it. So we're going to do 3.5 turbo, precise, uh, 200, 150, 200 words. Cool. So let's go here and drag those down. You can see how much faster it is, especially with all that content, right? So I'm going to put that back. You can see how repetitive it gets, though, right? Like, Timeless Classic, the top... Well, maybe we should actually read these. Yeah, it's pretty repetitive, but that's okay. Timeless Classic, Timeless Classic. Timeless classic. That's in your prompting and other things. Okay. See, maybe I would want the 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 prompt to be something better. Don't make a generic description. Write some unique things about it. See if the a different prompt makes it better. <laughs> Not at all. There we go. Now it's starting to change it up a bit. The song was initially written by Paul Simon as a gospel hymn, but it evolved into a... See, that's interesting, right? Now we just don't have the same thing all over again. This is a timeless classic, a timeless classic. Well, obviously it's a timeless fucking classic because it was on the top 100 over the years, but it was originally recorded by blah, 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 became a massive hit. Interestingly, she didn't even want to record the song. Yeah, see, this is like much more interesting stuff. Timeless classic. Okay, I'm not gonna talk about prompting here because we're just doing this in sheets, so. But now you can see what's happening here. Like, chat was not gonna give me what I wanted. So instead, we're doing this in a spreadsheet-like format and it allows you to step-by-step -step put things together. And then when you have all of your content ready, let's now once again copy this and paste the values. We now have the H2, we have the description, we have a site link, and we have a YouTube video URL if we wanted to embed a video, we could. Or if we just wanted to put the link to the video, we could. Um, there's a way you can use the YouTube API to get all those How do you even get to the fucking playlist? All right.
So yeah, you could you could get all your stuff or whatever. Um, that's not really the point of this video, I guess. So if you wanted to include a uh, link to it there as well, you could, which is kind of nice since we don't have images, but you could include uh, image links too, right? So if you had bridge, oh, okay. Bridge over troubled water. If you were hosting these images somewhere, you could link to open, oh my God. That's a ridiculously long URL. But let's say you had it on your website or you had the image somewhere. You could um, include a, an image link in here and so you'd have like a list post with a nice image. But instead I have this YouTube uh, thing here. So what I'll do is I'll just give you an actual example of this terrible thing here. And we'll just go with the, uh, I'll just go with the link because it's shorter. So here's the YouTube video link. And now we just put it together, right? So we can just concatenate it again. Concatenate. And what we want to do is we want to have that first. And then if you're like, well, I need it in this format where it's got like the H2 and then it's got the, you know, the content and then there's like a space or maybe you want a space in between those two as well. Well, how do you do that? Well, if you don't know how to do that, you can ask uh, chat. So I'll give you another example of how this could work. You you could have, we're going to start here with this H2 thing. Oh, shit. We're going to start here. Then we're going to go to the description. Then we're going to go to the site link. Then we're going to go to the YouTube video URL. And what you can do is you can say, here, I'll just do this as well. YouTube.be just so I can give chat two things here. Is that gonna work? Yeah, cool. So you can go to chat and you can say, this is my Google Sheet. I need to make a column that puts each row together in the following format. I don't even correct my spelling errors anymore because it gets it right. So I gave it two so it understands what's going on. I just pasted it in and the format that I want is going to be that, then that, then that, and then And then I'm going to give it, yeah. So I need to make a column that puts each row together in the following format. So you give it that, and it's going to give you the, boom. So you can concatenate, like I was saying. And then you use these things, care 10, care 10. That's like the return carriage thing. So if you don't know how to do this kind of stuff, it just gives it to you, right? And it, it it's going to give you where it thinks the things are, because we didn't actually tell it. So I'm going to say... Um, I'm, gonna, I'm, I'm just going to give it more information. So this is E, F, G, and H. This is call E, F, G, H. I want to... Well, it doesn't matter where you put the column. It doesn't need to know that. Cool. So now it's fixed all that stuff for me. Uh, it did add this on there, which I don't need because it's already in my thing. It probably doesn't know that. So if I go in here and I paste that, I can get rid of this. Otherwise, circular dependency. Okay, so E2, F, G, H. Oh, read more. What is the thing? This is, this is it. Let's see what happens here.
Uh, it even put in the little emoji because I did this in a conversation I was having earlier with this other stuff. So I, I should have made a new new conversation, right? So I'll do it again. We'll go over here. This is column E, whatever. Where the fuck did I go? So I just do it in a new thing so it resets its, you know, context. And now it's figuring it out. Oh, cool. I don't know why I thought that, but maybe that's what I pasted. So let's try this again. Boom. And it does actually contain the URL, but you can always just get rid of it. So now you have that. Now you have that. And if you just do this all the way down, obviously we don't have the YouTube URLs for all this stuff, so I would probably leave that part out. And boom. So now you have this whole thing like this. And what you can do is I forgot that I actually probably want to put some uh, return at the bottom of this too. So let's just go here. And put one at the bottom. Oh. And so now what I get to do is I can copy all these if I want. And I can just do a new column or something. Insert column right. And here's your article. This isn't going to fit in here, probably because it's more than 50,000 characters. But you can open it up in another file. All right, and you can see that Google Sheets puts these like these quotes for every cell automatically. So instead, what we would want to do is we would want to get rid of those quotes. So I'm just going to copy like that. And so what, sorry, what I did is I copied everything and I just did paste values. And if I paste, it's, it's doing these like before and after quote things, but we don't want to get rid of all quotes um, because we actually have quotes in our article, but it's easy because where we had quotes, there's now going to be two quotes. So all we have to do is get rid of the single quotes. So there's a lot of different ways to do that. I'm just going to do it like this by highlighting all single quotes. Nope. Sorry. Highlighting. Uh, I'm probably going to have to use regex for this. Let's see. Mm -mm -mm. Okay, let's see. Well, let's ask chat. Yeah. 
All right, so what I, what I would basically do without trying to get this all programmy intentionally is I'm just gonna concatenate as many as I can. It's gonna allow you to do up to 50,000 per cell, right? So we have this here and you can see it doesn't have those quotes all over the place. Although I did, I guess, mess up the fact that maybe I need two return carriages at the bottom of these things. And you might be thinking, wow, this seems like kind of a lot of work. But once you've set up your like your template, this is almost like your article template, now you can go repeat that for every single, you know, year or whatever your whatever your pattern of articles that is that you're doing. You can go and repeat that stuff. And you now have like this sheet as this like template to be able to build stuff. Let's put this I'll put this read more here. Read more space and G2. I think it's just because it's yeah, okay, cool. So we have that. All right, let's go. Okay, so that's not going to work. Let's try this. Concatenate that comma. So then we just have to figure out how to get all these together and I'm trying to do it in a way that's not programmy. Um, what we can do here is all right I know how to do this okay so we'll ask chat again we'll say here's a sample of one column three rows. I need to concat these together with a return carriage in between each. What's the sheets formula? Because there is a sheets formula to do that. Text join, it allows you to define what is, what's going to go in between them. All right, so text join, true, and then you're going to do it for the entire range. All right, cool. So let's, let's do this real fast. All right, great. So text join, it starts with the return, true, and now we're going to go this through this, and it's going to say that's probably too many. Yeah, it's more than 50,000 characters, okay. So let's just go down to, I don't know, 50? Cool. So now we have 1 through 50 here, or I2 through I50. So now what we need to do is come down to the second one, and we're going to paste in I51 through the rest of it, and that seems to fit. Great. So now what do we do? We have it in two areas, and this is probably it's insanely hard to see. Okay, cool. So you can see in these top two cells now we have all the stuff that we need. Now I'm going to, uh, I'm gonna copy, and then I'm gonna do paste the values. And now, if I copy this, and I paste it here, we're still gonna have the problem with the quotes. But if I click return, and then I select all and copy, we don't have that problem anymore. So it's only when you copy straight from the cell, not when you copy the stuff in the cell. So we, we got them into two things, and now all I have to do is go into here, copy that, paste it in there, and I don't have that problem anymore. So now the only problem I have, if it's a problem, if you think, is that I have like these extra spaces. And there's easy ways to get rid of those, or maybe you don't care, um, or maybe the thing that you're pasting it into doesn't even format like that anyways. But basically what we did now, um, because chat is getting more and more inclined to not do shit for you, 
I've been noticing this a lot lately. Like I can't get it to write full code blocks. I can't get it to write full things. I don't even know where that other shit went. Uh, oh yeah, here. So this is what started the whole thing. I wanted it to write it and it, it's just gonna truncate things. It's gonna, like so, uh, blah, 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 blah. Okay, so give me a list, yada, yada, yada. And then it just says like, all right, I'm not gonna do anymore. And I've fought this thing a lot and said like, give me more, give me more, like do more. And, and eventually it just it just keeps repeating and it says like, okay, I'll, all right, let me go fill them in for you. And then it doesn't fill them in. So it's just getting stupider and stupider. But this method here allows you to do things in sheets. And this particular demonstration was about how to build content in these sheets. But let's say that you needed a, a different task. Uh, and this is one of the tasks that I um, am frequently dealing with, right? So for and then we'll wrap this video up, but uh, I just wanna give you one more example. So let's say we're doing, um, like you're an e-commerce business or something, and you have, uh, here, I'll just do a, a fresh example. And you sell microphones. So you go here, you grab a bunch of microphones. I'll just do like a hundred, fuck, as an example. And you have this list of keywords here that's kind of dirty. And you're like, I need to go through, I need to get rid of all the, the, the branded terms in here because I'm not gonna write articles about other people's brands or I'm not gonna write single product articles or, or whatever the case is. You can use chat for that and if you notice, if you open up the functions, and then just watch your life tick away as you wait for things to happen on computers, there are, um, God, there are ones about classifying and extracting, so you can you can use GPT classify and to classify, you know, as a banana, fruit, or vegetable, or you can extract things like email addresses from, you know, whatever, summarizing, translating, converting, yada, yada, yada. Um, but for this one, I'm just gonna go and do something like, so in this particular example, I'm trying to get rid of like all the, the terms that have brands in them. So uh, extract the brand from the following keyword, if it exists. Properly cased. Because maybe you want, you need it for something, whatever. Let's see what it says. None, okay. See how it's starting to get brands out of here. So you can use it to clean up keyword lists. Cool. And then maybe you need to clean it up further and say, um, for the, for this, is this keyword a product category or a single product keyword? Maybe you have to do that for some reason. I don't know. Just kind of making shit up. But so this should be a product category. And if it gets it wrong, okay, got it right. Let's go down here. And when we get to this one, this is probably a single product. This is probably a single product. This is probably a single product. Let's see what it does. The Shure SM7B, single product. The Yeti Blue, I think that is actually a single product. Single product. Wireless, product category. XLR cables, boom. So single product, single product, 
single product. Yeah, it's pretty good. So now you've just cleaned up your keyword list by is it a brand or not? Is it a single product? And you know you can continue to kind of do things and, and classify and and whatever. I don't what the fuck is going on here? Oh. So whatever else you'd want to do, so like is it a brand or brand and then single versus category. Um, you know, oh shit, I fucking moved the things. Well, that's the end of this video. <laughs> but you get the point. You can put stuff into sheets and you can do things at, um, you know, just like extreme mass where like this list of keywords could have been 5,000 and I'm never going to be able to paste that into chat and get what I want. Like copy and paste back and forth, copy and paste back and forth. Then it like fucks up and does a bunch of shit. But here you can have it in your spreadsheet. You can really control the flow of what's going on um, without needing to learn how to program. So this video was way longer than I thought it was going to be, but hopefully it was helpful. So goodbye.